Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today I thought we'd talk about uh, centering pivots and what that essentially means by create any object. So I go to create polygon sphere for instance and I hit the W key to activate the move tool. You'll see my pivot point is where my move tool is located when I select an object. So when I click this sphere, let me shrink this down a little bit so you can hopefully see it a little bit better. If I click the sphere, you see my move tool appears, rotate tool, scale tool. They're all in that same point on the sphere. So when I move the sphere, that's the point I'm grabbing, and that's uh, the pivot of the sphere. When I rotate it, it pivots around that point. Now this pivot can change. If you hold down the D key, you go into edit pivot mode, and now you can move that pivot around. Let's say I move it up here. So now when I select my sphere, the pivot point up here, and this is the point I grab to move the sphere, and if I rotate it, you see it rotates around that point. That's the pivot point. And scale from that point, like this. And this can happen on purpose, like I just did, but also you might notice that whenever you are modeling something, the center point of your object is no longer where it started. Like let me uh, delete this sphere. I'll create a new object. Let's say create a polygon cube. Like this. Let's say you're modeling and doing stuff. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to grab this and just do, do, just do some quick stuff to it. Just to have something happen. I'm just making crazy random shapes. No rhyme or reason. You know, just making stuff. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> but now my pivot point's way over here. That's where the cube started. If I want my pivot point to be centered on my object again, I can hit the D key and try to move it somewhere that it's useful. Like uh, move it over here, or maybe move it over here. Holding down the D key again, like I said. Or you go to Modify, Center Pivot. Just click this button, and your pivot gets centered on the object or no matter where it is. And it uses the bounding box of the object. If you imagine this object inside a square or a cube, the middle of that cube becomes the new pivot point whenever you center the object. You can actually even see that bounding box if you go to display, object display, bounding box. If I click this now you'll see my object gets replaced with this box, just kind of indicating the space that my object takes up and whenever I center the pivot, this pivot point goes to the center of that box. If I go to display, object display, no bounding box, it goes back to normal. So if I were to continue to modify this object, let's say I take this face and extrude it way out here. I take this face and extrude it way out there. All these faces, I guess. So now my bounding box is much different. So if I go to display, object display, bounding box. You'll see now my box is this big huge thing because that's the space this object is taking up. If I go to display, object display, no bounding box again. So now if I go to modify center pivot, the pivot is out here in space because of that bounding box. Again, show that again. Object display, bounding box. The center of that bounding box is out there in space even though the object is not touching it. So keep that in mind whenever you're centering your pivots that that's what it's using to center by the bounding box of the object. Display, object display, no bounding box. So again that's under modify center pivot. Hope you liked that video and you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, requests, definitely let me know. I appreciate it and thanks again for watching.